friends welcome to my channel this video would be most beneficial to those who will be appearing for first time in NEET MDS 2021 the purpose of creating this video is to familiarize you all with the inside situation and reactions my experience and understanding will help you all to desensitize from that situation yes desensitization remember behavior management periodontics yes and the sole purpose of this channel is to simplify dentistry if you are new to the channel then please please consider subscribing it and do hit the bell icon because till your neat exam i'll be uploading all the videos which could help you at each and every step somewhere we all carry that fear of unknown but after watching this video you will be known to the situation you will be knowing that what is coming at you so I hope your fear level will drop. It should drop. For me, you all are warriors because you all are battling with 1920 subjects at a time right now. And my best wishes are always with you and I'm always there to help you all. You can reach me via email, Instagram or Facebook. I have given all the links and details in the, in the description box below. So please do check out. So now, any further ado, let's get started. So the day was 20th December 2019. And uh, our examination timings were from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, it would be written on your admit card that they expect you to reach at least one and a half to two hours before your designated examination time. And don't forget to carry your admit card in which you have to post your photographs and uh, also the identification proof. It could be your passport or your other card or any valid identification proof which you have to carry along with yourself. These two things are very much essential to get you inside the examination center. So as soon as I reached the examination center, I saw thousands of people just like me who were scared, nervous and some were really panicked. You know, we can read faces. So yes, uh, at that moment, your heart would start racing that and the thoughts uh, which were crossing my mind were that I'm competing with so many students in this three hours. I mean, not only which I am able to see, but apart from them, there are a lot, there are almost 25 to 30,000 people, right? But do not go into such thought process, calm yourself, pray in whomsoever you believe, okay? Your family's love and strength is always with you. Believe in your hard work and believe in what you have read. This is very much essential at this moment. So as soon as I reached the examination center, I showed my identification proof and admit card so that I, I was able to enter into the building. And after that, uh, they do the biometric analysis of all the candidates. So it's a quite a long process. Okay, so it will take uh, it will take almost one hour or more than that. So that's why they asked us to reach earlier while standing into that queue. I was thinking that no, I am different. I'm not among these people. You, what I'm trying to say is you have to develop that positive attitude and that confidence inside you, which will help you to perform better in those three hours. Okay. And one more thing is don't get into conversation with your neighbors or any unknown people regarding studies because this might create chaos and we don't want that okay what you want is a calm and cool mind for me it was like while i'm entering into that examination center i'm just a bds graduate but when i'll be out of it at 5 pm my fate has been logged it has been logged that which college which university which branch i will get based on how i have performed so how important those three hours are you have to prepare your mind for those three hours in advance and you have to give your best. So as the biometric analysis was completed, I reached at my designated place in front of the computer. 
my roll number was showed on that computer and also my photograph which was taken at that moment it was showing on it so it is very much essential that first you uh, validate this thing that your photograph is there on your screen and your roll number is there otherwise the examination environment is very much cooperative and friendly they are going to help you with each and every step if you have any difficulty then also they will be there and they will help you out so there is no need to worry about that thing but after sitting at my place i had 45 minutes approx and in those 45 minutes you have to keep your mind calm and stable okay don't get into revising any topic or anything so in those 45 minutes i was just trying to calm myself and i was praying most of the time and uh, i knew how important this exam is for me so this this was how my thought process was before the exam and uh, as soon as the timer was showing 5 minutes 3 minutes 2 minutes my heart was racing it was getting pumped up and uh, i can sense the stress in the environment and then the examination starts and i was able to hear hundreds of clicks on different computers around me and it was a moment of uh, you know like your heart races the most but on the other side you have to maintain your calmness and use your brain right and left both the brain correctly first 20 to 25 questions were image based questions in my paper so it is different question for everyone it is not like the question which you see on your screen is same with your neighbor or your neighbor's neighbor no it is different it's completely jumbled up so in the starting itself there were general medicine questions one after the other one after the other and i was clueless at the time because this paper was very much unexpected we have been told or we have been trained that there would be 15 to 20 image based questions which you can expect or max to max 25 but 50 image based questions were out of our expectations not all image based questions were difficult but few were actually and then as i started attempting i realized that the paper was more like clinical based as you might have heard earlier and there were many questions of case presentation and specifically the questions were very long it was 6 to 7 lines long questions by the time i reach 7th line i forget that what were the other criteria in first and second line it was so big which was a great drawback to almost all the candidates because of that we had very much less time to review the mark for review questions there was no time practically and it was not like one or two questions are of that great length there were many many questions so overall we were thrown into a challenging situations it was not expected and repeated mcqs which were there so actually this kind of paper demands your clinical understanding more so i would advise you guys that analyze your paper well that what kind of paper it is and then try to attempt it so the challenging part about this year's exam was how much to attempt because before entering the exam we all have that particular figure in our mind right uh, we have done some calculations that i'll attempt 200 plus mcqs so that i could reach so and so rank okay but your actual judgment should be during the exam also because the paper which i faced was i can say it was difficult for most of us it was difficult so in such kind of paper your attempt should be less you have to mark less negative and you have to attempt only those questions in which you are confident but the mistake which i did was i over attempted my attempt for the question was 210 by the time i reached 180 mcqs i was like okay fine in those 180 mcqs somewhere i have judged it with my knowledge and i'm confident about them but in the remaining 30 questions i took pure risk which was a blunder i am admitting it in front of you all because i want i don't want that you guys make the same mistake 
यू हैव टू टेक रिस्क बट कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क टेक ओनली दैट मच रिस्क विच हेल्प यू टू गेट बेटर रैंक एंड योर एम शुड बी to do minimum negative markings in difficult paper remember in difficult paper your aim should be to do minimum negative markings if you are aiming for a good rank for a government seat your then your attempt should be high it should be above 200 at least to score good to come into top 500 of all india ranking but it solely depend on what kind of paper it is so what i feel is neat mds is not just the exam which test your dentistry knowledge you should be able to judge the paper you should be into that moment while you are in the exam your mind should not be wandering anywhere else and for this reason i have stressed into my earlier videos and in this video also that please do give regular mock tests at least 3 to 4 months before your exam because it will train your brain to stay into that state of judgment and to keep on working in those 3 hours you have to make 240 correct choices which is a great load for your brain okay 240 choices and among that your choices should be more of the correct like 60 to 70 percent of your choices should be correct so it's a great work for your brain so for that you need to train your brain and that's why i'm stressing more on giving mock test before your need it is very much essential to take calculated and adequate rest at certain times like for me i had decided that after attempting 100 mcqs i'll have a sip of water and for 2 minutes i'll just close my eyes because it's a great strain to your eyes and your brain to constantly look at the computer and to judge it as i said earlier also so those rest are essential and it will help you to uh, perform better for the coming questions sometimes what happens that in the moment of rush or in the moment of uh, panic we choose the incorrect answer although we know the answer okay after giving the exam it is uh, quite a normal reaction that few students feel that oh yes i was knowing this answer but i attempted it wrong so this is very much normal but we don't want this to happen right so for that take adequate rest after 100 mcqs i i had decided that i'll have a sip of water i'll sit for 2 minutes no matter how tough easy or medium those questions will be after that again i'll do the 80 questions and then i will rest my brain and eyes for 2 minutes and then i'll do the rest so this was my strategy so all these things you need to strategize before your neat exam and also i i had planned that i'll do the paper in two three steps like in the first step i'll just do the questions in which i am most confident in which 100% i know that yes this is the answer so there was one image of lipoma and i was knowing that yes this is the correct answer so i'll attempt that so this was my strategy that in the first round i will do all those questions in which i am 100% confident in which i don't have any doubt and also uh i'll mark those questions as mark for review in which i have confusion between two options okay in the third round i had decided that those questions in which i am totally clueless but if my attempt would be less i would try to take risk but unfortunately the paper was so lengthy as i said earlier the questions were very much lengthy that that i was not able to do the uh, question paper into these three steps in the first step i did the questions in which i was most confident and by the time i reached the second round there was just 60 minutes remaining so you have to be very conscious and wise regarding the time and the number of questions which are remaining okay you have to be very active in this aspect also there would be timer which would be showing on your screen you have to be very much conscious that how many questions you have attempted how many are remaining how much time you have so in the second round i i just solved those mcqs which i had left for mark for review and then my time was up
so as you all might have heard that this paper was very much unpredictable and tough more of the clinical questions and all that but still this year the merit has gone upwards instead of going down it has gone up the first ranker compared to 2019 has scored higher marks and rank in 2020 neat so whose basics are very much strong they are going to perform good in however paper or whatever questions you give them the most important thing is you have to be confident and you have to believe in yourself and your reading and your knowledge i hope this video will help you somewhere and actually desensitize you guys so thanks for watching see you in the next video